guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. For those of you that are new, my name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. I'm sitting here amongst a big a spring 2024 home decor haul and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. A lot of the items were purchased new. I have um, a couple thrifted items, consignment items, just some really beautiful items that I'm gonna be decorating my home with this year and I am so excited. Um, the first thing we're gonna get into is I am, if you guys have been with me for a minute, then you remember that I purchased that um, beautiful little oval table that I have to refinish at some point for my library, eventual library. Um, and I got it at a garage sale for like $20 and it's just sitting in the garage and I just had this inspiration come over me <laughs> to put it in between the two sofas and create a moment with it. So my brain got busy. I literally jumped up off of the sofa that day and went to the thrift store and the table is this beautiful, I can't get to it to show you guys with the camera because it's behind a bunch of stuff in the garage. So you'll get a good look at it the day that we decorate it. Um, but I knew that I wanted to put a lamp on it and some home decor books and some other tchotchkes and just kind of create uh, a vignette of sorts and um, you know just I don't know I just had this vision so I, I envisioned it draped with a beautiful tablecloth now it is a very odd size so I can't find a tablecloth to save my life because I want it to touch the ground so I'm gonna have to make it myself so I found this beautiful fabric at Joann's it was $9.99 a yard, and I got eight yards. This is eight yards. I was I got so lucky. Um, but this is the fabric that we're going to be making a tablecloth for that table with. So beautiful. And it's going to go so lovely with the pillows that I have there. And um, I need lighting over in that corner and or on that side of the living room. I got, oh this beautiful brass lamp at the thrift store for it is so heavy okay hold on it's oh, it is so heavy 29.99 oh my gosh so beautiful look at the detail in that it is gorgeous just beautiful and exactly what i wanted was something that just really sparkled. This is the lampshade that came with it. I love the detail of her. So pretty. So, so excited. Are you feeling it? Can you see? And then on the, no, I'm so bummed. I knew that I wanted a potted plant, like a pot with a big, like, plant on it. I haven't got the plant yet, though. But I found this beautiful, pot i loved the color of it at home goods and it was 14.99 it's rather large uh does it say the size made in portugal it doesn't say the size but it's rather large but i just thought it was perfect for my living room it just goes perfectly with all of the tones in there while i was bringing it in i found okay i found this beautiful horse there look what i just did I just, I mean, I knocked off the very tip of his tail, but it's okay, I have glue and it's a clean break, so it'll be just fine. But look how beautiful that is, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I love it. You know me and my obsession with horses, so I saw this and I said, sold, had, had to have it. And it was expensive. It was $29.99, but I love it. And I've said this to you, look at the detail. Look at the detail. You see that? Look at the detail. Oh, I just love him. We have another George. So cute, so pretty. Okay, so he, I'm gonna fix his little tail. You guys will never be able to tell. Thankfully, it was a clean break. And um, that is gonna go on the table. And then I wanted another, uh, you know, item of interest on the table. 
So I found this wooden bowl and again, rather large, but I loved the detail around the edges. Just so much texture and interest. And I thought, well, I could just put it on the table like that. But then I ran across these guys and put them in my cart. Or they jumped in my cart. They just did. $29.99 for these three darn balls. I don't know. They're shells. They're, th these are made out of shells, individual shells. But so beautiful. And sometimes, I told you guys this, sometimes you, when you see things, you, if you can afford it, if the bank account allows, you just have to buy it. Because if it's something that you walk away from and you can't stop thinking about it, then if, like I said, if you can afford it, get it. Because you're not going to regret it. And especially pieces like that, they're timeless. I got a bunch of designer books, well four because I'm obsessed with home design. And so um, this is for like tablescapes. This one is Travel Home. So lots of inspiration in this book. This one I haven't even opened yet. I love it. This one is Naomi Leff Interior Design. So sometimes I will pick up designer books that aren't, you know, designers that I know or even care for. Like looking at this picture and this picture doesn't do anything for me. However, the reason why I love design books is it gives you inspiration. So um, you could be looking through the book and you know, you can say, oh, I have something similar to that. It may not be the same color scheme, but it kind of will give you an idea on how to pair things together, if that makes any sense. So um, I just love interior design of all kinds, and I love to study it. But then I'm going to ask you, because if you've been following me for any amount of time, then you know that my favorite designer on earth is Bunny Williams. <laughs> I love her. I have what I can watch her all day long every day the same show the same house tour of her home over and over and over again her New York apartment her Connecticut home all of it I just I just really love her and so how excited was I to find this so it's her garden style and I love gardening and I love her gardens and that's what I love about her. She's an interior designer who loves to do floral arranging and she loves to garden. And um, I'm passionate about all three. So um, I was super excited to find this, this book. So my idea is to have a few, you know, stacks of books on that table um, with a big beautiful plant and the lamp and some little, you know, the bowl of interest and my little statue. And then I picked this up because, I mean, how beautiful is this? It's a magnifying glass and, hi. <laughs> and I thought it was just so perfect. I saw this at World Market. $12.99 and I had to have it because I thought it would be so perfect sitting on top of one of the books. So is that it for the table? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So that is my idea for my little vignette, my little table in the, in the um, living room. And then we, I'm sitting currently on you guys in my bedroom in the corner on the chair that used to be in the family room. And I'm so excited to have it here in my bedroom now. And um, we're gonna get to some decor for that for spring as well. But I got a new chair um, at a consignment store. It was a model home had just brought in a bunch of stuff and it's one of the Magnolia um, home. I'm gonna, you know, share it with you guys right here. And um, 
This chair is $600, I believe, at, you know, brand new at Magnolia, and we got it for $280, and it's in perfect condition. And it's just, it was on consignment. So we picked that up because that is the exact style of chair that we wanted to have in our family room. Also, I got that beautiful jute rug, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys, this beautiful jute rug. Um, it is like a 12 by 15, gorgeous. Regularly $1,500 in Ernie, and I got it for $200 consigned. It was a, it's a thrift store, consignment store. I shouldn't say thrift. I said thrifted, but really it's consigned. Uh, it, it's in a consignment shop, so it's consignment, brand new. Um, I've shared it with you guys before. They have uh, model home furnishings, brand new furnishings, and um, the Amish bring their stuff in there, and um, vintage. Like some people will bring in pieces from their family, so um, you'll have like vintage and antique pieces all mixed in, and it's just really a fun place to go. But we found the rug there and also the chair there and snagged those. Ernie also got a um, cowhide rug for his uh, man cave or gentleman's lounge upstairs and um, he really wanted that so um, anyways I keep looking over here which is my viewfinder and I should be looking here so I'm so sorry for that you guys it always looks like I'm not I gotta remember to not look at myself anyways okay so that is that um, and then for the kitchen I'm so excited I'm gonna do a little vignette on the island and my idea is I picked up this white little this white tray, and to go on it, I found this at uh, Kirkland's, and it was on clearance for eighteen dollars. And I thought this would be perfect for spring and summer, or all year if I feel like it, with some picks in it. <clears throat> on the island, how gorgeous is that? So beautiful. And I'm also, I also found this at World Market and I'm going to, I, I almost, we almost turned around, I almost turned around and went back in and said forget it, I don't want this, but I already committed in my mind to my design. So my idea for this, it was $29. I'm ashamed to say that. Anywho, uh, wait until you see the other one, same thing. Um, my idea for this is to put a glass vase in here with some more florals, fresh florals, because um, I don't mind having faux florals as long as it's mixed in with real and real plants around. So I figured the Faux florals up above, and then my real florals down beneath. Um, maybe some white hydrangeas. I'm gonna stick with white in the kitchen this year. And then I have to find a candle for there. Um, but that is it for that little vignette. I think it's gonna look really pretty together. So we'll see what I come up with as the third item, because she always don't decorate in odd numbers. For me, the find of the day. I got lots of lovely things here, but I, wanted to. I searched that store and then walked walk next door to Marshall's and searched for it. You guys, how stinking beautiful is this? Oh my gosh. I am in love with it. And I wanted two for my kitchen, but they only had one. And this one was $39.99, but I don't care. I'm gonna have it forever. It's just gorgeous. And I'll be able to move it around my house all over. I am just in love with it. It is so beautiful. There I am again, looking at the viewfinder. Just gorgeous. You guys know how I love my coffee mugs, my tea mugs. I saw these and had to have them. Made in England. How beautiful are these? They were $5.99 each, I got four. But look how beautiful these are, you guys. Ah, oh, they're gorgeous. I cannot wait, I'm having my coffee in this tomorrow. I cannot wait to decorate with these. Look at the little birds inside. So pretty. 
I just love it. These were made in England. This is a British design, Bluebird and Willow Studio, designed in England. So, if you are looking for something similar, there you go. You may be able to order them online, but Oh, I just love them. So I got four. I'm going to do a spring, print something up um, for spring, and I thought it would be beautiful in this large frame. I got this at Marshall's for $12.99, and I thought it would be just beautiful sitting on my counter next to the lamp. A beautiful spring picture of some sort in it. Found this lovely candle. It smells so good. It's pink sea salt. Oh, the camera picked it up. There it is. Pink sea salt, $12.99 home goods. And it smells fabulous. It's white on the inside. It smells so good. But I wanted to put it in a basket on the stove. So I didn't want to just set the candle on the stove. So I was looking for a small basket, and I finally found one at World Market, perfect size, but I hate the green. So I'm gonna have to remedy that somehow, but I could not pass it up because of the scalloped edge, and it's the perfect size for a large candle or a smaller candle. Just so pretty. For above my stove, on the hood, I wanna make a wreath, and so I have this idea to thrift, so I'm gonna have to um, be really diligent and go to all my thrift stores, my antique stores, and find, I want to find a bunch of small little um, plates, little vintage plates within the color scheme I have going for the kitchen, and I'm going to hot glue them onto a wreath form and hopefully they stick and they'll fall off. And then I'm gonna do some ribbon, and I couldn't decide which ribbon I liked better. So I picked this one up, which is just gorgeous. And I also picked this one up. So I, this one is, I'm, I'm leaning more towards this one. I just love it, but I don't know, this one is so frilly and pretty. So, I'm not sure, we'll see. Maybe I'll use both of them. I don't know, Ernie said get them both because, you know, you're, not, you, you're gonna do more projects. So, I couldn't believe I found these. Butterscotch Lifesavers. Ernie said, you love old people candy. And I said, yes I do, because I'm old. <laughs> my spring bedroom. I love everything about my bedroom, but it doesn't feel pulled together. So, I found some beautiful art pieces. Um, at the consignment store, they were only $69 each. They are huge. And um, four above my bed. The ones that are above my bed now are going to go on this wall right here, stacked, so that it will complete the corner. And I'm gonna turn the camera around, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, I got one more thing for the kitchen. This, this is so heavy. We're um, behind the stove. The backsplash, I found this at World Market and it was $59.99 and I love it. So beautiful. Found this room spray. It's the sand and fog, amber and big. It smells so good. Love the color. They have three, $5.99, I bought all three. Because when you find something you like, you buy them all. Here is one. Now you can see how big they are next to the chair. I mean, <laughs> look at this little vignette. It's going to be so beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with the mirror yet, but it's going to be beautiful to have the pictures there. Um, but I got two of them. There's this design and that design. Very fresh for spring. And then I got this beautiful Laura Ashley quilt coverlet and it comes with the shams. So what I'm going to do, my idea is, so these pictures, beautiful pictures, will get hung up above there, it's going to be gorgeous. 
And then um, I'm going to put my quilt, leave my white bedding on. I'm gonna take the quilt coverlets and put those on um, these pillows back here. I'll of course have my white sheets on and the coverlet will get folded at the end of my bed um, to, you know, give me my spring summer look for, um, for the room, for the bedroom. And it's just gonna look so good. I, I just love it. But that is it. That is my haul. Short video, but be looking for the decor. I'm super excited to get that vignette done. And I'm just super excited to finish decorating the house. Okay, hopefully you guys, I'll try and look here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, um, that haul. It's short and sweet, but uh, I think it's gonna be really fun to decorate with everything. I'm so looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. Thanks for watching today, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.